now we'll discuss the third generation cephalosporin this third generation cephalosporin they were discovered in 1980s and they are more effective against gram negative bacteria those who are resistant to other beta lactam antibiotics means they show highly augmented activity against gram negative resistant to the other beta lactam antibiotics gram negative resistant to the other beta lactam antibiotics that is the important feature and this third generation cephalosporin they inhibit the pseudomonas pseudomonas originosa and maximum inhibition is shown by the ceftazidim in the third generation maximum inhibition for the pseudomonas if you want to treat pseudomonal originosa infection then the drug of choice is the ceftazidim then all these third generation cephalosporin can cross blood brain barrier except cefoperazone and cefixime they do not cross blood brain barrier all other third generation cephalosporin they can cross blood brain barrier and that's why we can treat the bacterial meningitis the drug of choice for the bacterial meningitis is the ceftriaxone which can cross blood brain barrier and that's why we can treat the bacterial meningitis except cefoperazone and cefixime now the important drugs in the third generation cephalosporins are cefotaxim the cefotaxim is available in the various dosage form for example in the tablet form then it is also available as a pediatric population taxim o and is also available as a parental preparation so it we can give by various routes oral or parenteral so it exerts cefotaxim it exerts potent action against aerobic gram negative as well as some gram positive bacteria aerobic gram negative as well as some gram positive but it is not effective against anaerobes third generation cefotaxim it is not effective against anaerobes prominent indications are meningitis caused by gram negative bacilli and they attain relatively high csf level they attain high csf level so we can treat meningitis caused by gram negative bacilli life threatening resistant or hospital acquired infections or septicemias with the help of cefotaxim we can treat life threatening or resistant hospital acquired infections or septicemias then the next drug or the most commonly used drug in the ipds or to treat any infection i will say ceftriaxon you can treat anything with the help of this third generation cephalosporin particularly ceftriaxone if you go to the any ipd this drug is the mandatory it is quite popular it is highly effective the distinguished feature of this cephalosporin is its longer duration of action why it is highly popular because of its longer duration of action t half is at hours permitting once or at the most twice daily dosing for the meningitis it is most commonly used for meningitis and mostly it is given once or maximum you can give twice daily a single dose of 250 mg intramuscular has proven curative in gonorrhea including penicillin produces nigeria gonorrhea and also in the chancroid just one single dose 250 mg intramuscularly it will cure the gonorrhea and it will cure the chancroid which is caused by hemophilus ducreae to overcome resistance it is mostly combined with the drugs like sulbactam and tazobactam it is always combined with the tazobactam or sulfactam it is always comes in the combination ceftriaxone sulbactam ceftriaxone tazobactam why to overcome resistance and it attains very good concentration in the csf hence we can treat meningitis about 50% is excreted through the bile and no dose adjustment needed in the renal failure no dose adjustment is required in the renal failure this is the distinguishing feature of ceftriaxone 
Now third drug in that category is the sifopirazone. It's also important. Sifopirazone. Highly active against Pseudomonas. Okay. Activity against other gram-negative organism is weaker. But if you want to treat Sifopirazone, uh, if you want to treat Pseudomonas, you can use Sifopirazone. But highest activity shown by Ceftazidim. Majority of the drugs is excreted in the bile and dose reduction is not required in the renal failure. Why dose reduction is not required? Because majority of the drug is excreted in the bile. It causes hypothrombinemia. It causes hypothrombinemia that result in bleeding and requires vitamin K prophylaxis. Cephopirazone which shows high activity against Pseudomonas, less activity against gram-negative organism, no need to uh, for a dose reduction in case of renal dysfunction or renal failure because majority of the drug is excreted in the bile and it causes hypothrombinemia which result in the bleeding tendency and that require vitamin K prophylaxis. And sifoporazone, if it is given in the alcoholic person, it can cause disulfiram-like reaction, the very important is asked mostly in the MCQs which cephalosporin causes disulfiram like reaction and the answer is cephoperazone it causes disulfiram like reaction now the important characteristic feature of third generation cephalosporin like ceftazidim ceftazidim highest activity against Burke holderia pseudomalai Burkdorferi pseudomalai Ceftriaxone high activity against bacteroids, high activity against bacteroids and ceftazidim, ceftolazone and sifoperazone, they show high activity against Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Ceftazidim, sifoperazone, they are showing high activity against Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So this is all about the third generation cephalosporins.